Hello brothers and sisters. So let's talk migrants again for a second. And on this channel, we talk about this a lot because I see it clearly as day, eyes wide open, that they are doing this on purpose. They are establishing the Antichrist's army, Muslim army, Islamic army, all over Europe, America, first world nations, so that they are in position to take control and to move on the orders of Antichrist when the time comes. That is my opinion. And I will stick with it until I get upstairs very shortly and find out what the truth of the matter is. But from where I'm sitting right now, from all the facts presented to me and from everything I'm looking at on my world map and what's going on, that seems to be the play here. So again, I'm going to touch on it, the three latest stories, and it will again weigh in on my opinion on this. African invasion of Europe has only just begun, warns French journalist and politician Damien Rieu. Ryu suggests the possibility of criminal mafias coordinating this illegal invasion or even the involvement of foreign powers with the aim of destabilizing Europe. Yes. Ryu characterized the current situation as a spillover of Africa into Europe. He emphasized that many failed to grasp the magnitude of the impending crisis. And the problem is that people don't understand that we are at the beginning. There are hundreds of millions who want to come and it will cause serious conflict and problems in Europe as we have already begun to see. We are really just at the beginning. He highlighted the core issue remaining is the understanding the intricate web of actors and motivations behind the wave of migrants. So there's a politician and a journalist that's saying the same thing I'm saying. This is not normal. This is not how it's supposed to be. This is contrived, created, made, forced with an end goal in sight. Destabilization, destruction of cultures in those countries, a breaking down of the faith in those areas, and ultimately the placing of an Islamic army ready to move when it needs to move. Over 11,500 migra migrants surge into Eagle Pass, Texas, forcing it to declare a state of emergency. The unprecedented surge of 4,000 migrants streamed across the U.S. border with Mexico on Wednesday, forcing the overwhelmed city to declare the emergency. Border Patrol sources say they join 7,500 other migrants who have handed themselves in over the last seven days. City Mayor Rolando Salina said the mob, many of them from Venezuela, has overrun Mission Border Hope shelter in the city where asylum seekers are processed. One of the situations is that a lot of these migrants are single males and they don't want to listen to instructions and they leave the facility. Not all these people come in peace. No one's listening to him. He's pointing out the obvious again. If these were genuine migrants looking for a better life, where's the women and children, the grandmothers, the grandfathers, the frail, those that need protection that you'd actually want to flee to another country with, just fighting age fit young males. And amongst them, Russian, Chinese, you name it. How is this normal or accepted as just migrants? They're not listening. They're just going in. And they're moving along to where they're supposed to be. Frontex, only 8% of the European Union's illegal migrants were women last year. 8%. In what they term clandestine entries, the leading group of nationals were Afghans, 33%. They've got a huge country that they're now running for themselves. They should be happy. Followed by Syrians, 15%, again, huge country, and Turks, 10%. Turkey? The Frontex report warned that illegal entries are likely to further increase next year. Duh. There is much to suggest that the clandestine entry may increase in the next year in line with higher migratory pressure at the EU external borders. For years, critics of mass immigration have noted that most of the illegal migrants coming to Europe <clears throat> are fighting age males. In sharp contrast to the majority of women who came from Ukraine when the war broke out. 
In addition, the vast majority of these males are economic migrants. They are not fleeing warfare and they are not fleeing persecution. This is a setup for a militant army that will be ready to move when the correct person gives the orders. Now let me just paint you a picture here quickly. Now that we're on that and I'm saying it's an Islamic army. So let me qualify my thinking here for you a little bit further. We expect the Antichrist is arriving. We're not looking for him or watching for him. We're looking for Jesus and watching for his return and calling us up in the clouds. The minute we leave, the Antichrist is on the scene. Seven year deal that he's going to strengthen with many and he's going to allow the Jews to rebuild their temple and he's going to bring about peace and amazing things will happen. And he will shift the whole power landscape to his liking until he gets to the halfway point where he will consolidate and take complete control through his new world order of everything. That Antichrist, false messiah, bringer of peace when he's actually bringing war and destruction. The Muslim faith believe their Mahdi is coming. And their Mahdi is going to lead them in battle against the infidels. That Mahdi will be able to give an order and all Muslims, whether they're Shiite or Sunni or any different factions, they will all rally behind the Mahdi because they will see him as sent by their God and they will do what he says. Now imagine all these fighting age males positioned everywhere, America, Canada, Europe, all over these first world countries. And he can switch them on like that. What then? Something to think about. You see a lot of powerful people in the Muslim world rising up right now, consolidating power, pushing themselves for position. You've got Recep Erdogan trying to vie for power. You've got the Saudi crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. If he's not uh, playing the ultimate role, he's definitely one of the top generals of the Antichrist coming. He is just very, very powerful. He's a multi, multi billionaire. He has trillions at his disposal. And many, many will follow him and listen to him no matter what. And he's brokering a potential normalization slash peace deal with Israel. So there's a very big Islamic factor in this whole thing that people are not looking at or accepting. And again, we'll drill into that deeper with a different video and just focus on that whole angle. But for now, what I want you to see is how that ties in with this migrant crisis that's taking place. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.